Alright guys, welcome back, and today we have a Robocraft video. So, um, as I talked about in my update video, which was actually a Warframe video, I've been playing a lot of Robocraft, and I've been considering uploading a couple videos on it. I've been streaming it a lot lately, I can tell you that. And one of the builds that I've done and I recorded is my Cockroach build, which is actually inspired by uh, Clully or Cluely. However, he likes to have that pronounced. It's inspired by his cockroach design. Pronounce that kind of oddly, but whatever. Uh, it's by no means an exact copy. I just kind of looked at how he did his skis because I wanted to keep it a low profile, similar to his. Which, when you see it, it's kind of it is a very low profile. It can hide behind the rails on the like bridges that are scattered around a lot of maps so that's a nice thing for taking advantage of cover and so on the build it uses the TX1 mega plates which are the big flat electro plates and it's pretty much just electro plates skis and thrusters there's not that many blocks on it. I do have a few more blocks on the finish, like the thing that I have now, than the finished product you see in this video. So I'll probably have a flyover of what I've done now because I have changed a few things on it. And so here you'll see that I'm doing the downwards thrust, and that's purely just so that if I'm going over a bump, I can hit the shift key and that'll just push me back to the ground because this thing, it's... Here you see me building it out of white cubes because I'm just kind of planning it and unfortunately I don't have the RP to just kind of throw on planning a build. And so the finished product is made of mega cubes which are actually lighter than white cubes. And so that makes it very fast, very light, and one of the side effects of that is it gets off the ground very, very easily. And it is kind of a flimsy design in terms of, like, blocks, but because it has those big electro plates on the top, it really makes up for that and the fact that most of its health or armor just regenerates if you hit it. Or at least in the current game state, it does. And I found that even though like a piece of plasma shot could easily just get under your bot and take off a good half of your bot, it rarely ever happens. In fact, I've only had that happen, I think, once. And that was because I was upside down, and that's driver error. So, I'm still working on the downward thrust here. I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to make this as durable as possible while being as light as possible. And that's also something I do in the finished design that I have currently. It's primarily made of inners, where here you see, uh, or it's primarily made of prisms and tetras, whereas here you primarily see it made of inners so it is just that little bit lighter and also I have a lot more thrust or not a lot but I have like four more T8 thrusters I believe T8 or tier 6 on it uh, you'll see in the flyover at the end of the video so I do title this the cockroach by Clully or Cluely however he wants it pronounced uh, because credit where credit's due, and fun fact, I'm actually the person that came up with the cockroach name. I came up with it on my other YouTube account, which is my civilian account, I like to call it, because it's what I watch YouTube on, so you guys don't see me subscribe to my 200 channels that I'm subscribed to. So... Here you see me kind of testing it and just seeing how it handles. And you'll see in a minute that I actually 
at the moment, I have steering skis on the front, and I felt like that just kind of made it a little bit twitchy to control. So in a moment, I'll just take those uh, steering skis off, put regular skis on, and that fixes it for me. So that's what I'm doing right here. I just get the skis, and unfortunately, they only have tier 5 skis. I really want tier 10 skis, but they only have tier 5, which is kind of odd. Although I do, I think, lose a little bit of redundancy in terms of steering, because with the steering skis, if you only have forward thrust, you can still steer using the skis themselves, but once I take those off, I completely rely on the steering thrusters, which has gotten me into a couple hard spots considering the entirety of my steering is on the outside of my bot. And also, the way you see the thrusters isn't their final position. I change it near the end of the video. And I do quite like this design. It's a fun design. It's not the most practical thing. Most of my bots will make more RP per game than this bot will, but most of my other bots aren't nearly as fun. And here you see it actually, like going out of control, trying to flip it back over, and this is where I figured out how to actually control it when it gets flipped over. The trick is not to just hold down the shift key until it, like, flips itself over, it's to just, like, hold it down for a second or two, and then let it go, and it'll flip itself over just kind of neatly, which I'm pretty sure you'll see me do in a video clip soon I don't know I'm not voicing this over while I'm watching it in case you can't tell I'm doing a post commentary and if you see Chloe's design my design has a little bit more places where it connects to the frame than his does, just because I really like having my frames to be able to take a shot and not fall apart. Because if you have two connection points on your entire bot to the frame and to the pilot seat, if you get hit once you're going to lose half your bot. Whereas if you have four, then worst case scenario you lose a quarter of your bot. And I'm pretty sure that's not how it actually works, but it's it gets the point across. And this design does have six guns, and it keeps the low profile. Again, on Chloe's design, you'll see that his guns are on, like, opposite, or not opposite, but different heights, so that they don't shoot into the back of each other. And I sacrificed that little bit more flexibility in firing for a little bit more flexibility in armor and hiding which is just kind of a play style trade-off if you want to raise it you can I didn't want to raise it so I didn't and here I'm just doing as much triforcing on the guns as I can to protect them but realistically if they're gonna get shot off People are probably just going to be shooting them because I have a massive electroplate covering my guns mostly. But it's still worth protecting. I want to know that if they get shot off, it's because the guns got shot off, not because my connection point got shot off. And so that's why I'm kind of triforcing it, doing what I can to protect it. And this triforcing actually changes, which you probably won't be able to see in the final design. But just know that it is different and a little bit more efficient in the final design. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I pretty much just mirror the exact same thing onto the back. I don't mirror it perfectly here, but I'm pretty sure it is perfectly mirrored on my final design. So here you see that if I'm shooting at someone directly in front of me, my back gun will actually shoot into my front gun, 
and be pretty much useless. But I don't often shoot at people in that angle. Typically with this spot, I try and get on the walls and cling to the walls, which you can do in this spot because of the downwards thrust in the skis and shoot at them that way and in that situation none of my guns hit which is a positive thing but if I am firing at someone in front of me I'm in a little bit of a hard situation to be in so that's another thing to keep in mind about this bot and again it's not the perfect bot it's not gonna make you the most RP but it is gonna be fun it's a nice little twitchy bot. It's a little bit challenging to get the hang of, and that's coming from a person who has used sleds a lot, and small electroplated very fast sleds a lot, since like even bo before electroplates. And so, to someone else who's not as used to how they handle, it might be even a little bit harder to get the hang of. But it is possible, and it is a fun bot once you figure out how to control it. And another thing to note, on my final design when this is all, or nearly all, Mega Cubes, it is very, very close to the max flop limit. Actually, I don't have all the Mega Cubes on it yet, so I'm not sure if it will be over it, and I'll need to modify it a little more. So... That's something to keep in mind. If you don't have a lot of flops, then you might not be able to build this. You could probably do something with tier 10 cubes, but it will most likely be a lot slower because tier 10 cubes are significantly heavier than mega cubes and white cubes. Whereas here, you'll find out that I am a lot faster than you see in this video simply because I'm a lot lighter because TX cubes are lighter than white cubes and also I've done weight saving techniques on this So here I'm just trying to squeeze in thrust wherever I can add it. I do believe I end up removing these in my final design because I just had CPU limitations. And unfortunately I'm at max rank, which means I'm not going to get any more CPU without becoming a Megabot, which you can't really do with this bot because you don't have sleds and thrusters in Mega Tier. And here I actually take into a game, and I'll let you watch that game, see how this does, see how it handles, see how you might want to modify it, see if it fits you, or just scrap it in general, don't copy it, just watch this for your own amusement. Uh, so yeah, I'll stop talking now and put some music in the background. <laughs> 